So I'm over here right now, and he has the S mount. I don't want to be here, of course, but what I need to be aware of straight away is the, the two things that are the most vulnerable right now is this arm. If he goes for, a, like, say, an arm bar, it's right there, okay? And I need to watch for the collar choke. So those are the two things, right? So what you, we, a lot of people make the mistake is they try to focus on using this hand as the hand to move this leg. That's not the hand, because if you put this hand here, he's gonna grab it and he's gonna sit back on it, right? Or as you stick this hand here, you open up the neckline. So now you're gonna put yourself in a position where you're gonna get choked out, especially with the gear. Okay, so watch what I do with this hand. This hand is gonna go inside my collar, because I've got the gear on, and I'm gonna keep that collar away from me. Because this is the collar I'm most worried about him securing. I wanna keep this away from me, and my elbow stays locked to my body. Okay, got it. Right, next thing, this elbow needs to come down and as much as I can get it inside his calf, the better it's gonna be. Okay, got that? Now, this hand's gonna come into play next. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep everything real tight. So not like this, I keep everything up. So don't lie down here. Bring everything up, keep your elbow in. Now, my hip becomes very important. Watch what's gonna happen as I rotate my hip, I'm gonna push my hip into his leg. This is key. I'm moving this hand away for now just so that you can see, okay? So watch, I'm gonna move myself like, like we do when we're trying to escape the side control position, right? I'm gonna move my legs. I'm now going to use my hip into his leg and look what happens. You see how it comes up? All right, yeah, come back again. Don't ever do this. Like even if you block this out, don't try to just stick your hand in here. Okay, because if it's real tight, you're not gonna get it. Two, once I give away what I'm doing, he's gonna control my, my tricep. He's gonna put his hands on my tricep, and he's gonna lock me in, now I'm stuck here. Now I can't move, all right? So I wanna be here, as he's trying to get hold of this arm, I'm just like stopping him, protecting myself as much as I can. Right, step, right, step away, drive with my hip as I drive with my hip. Now my hand goes underneath. Leave this hand here, okay? for that moment, right? Once you've got this up, now you can put two hands in and you start rotating and you come out. The S mount me. So I'm in the S mount. What do I do with this hand? Protect the collar, keep my elbow in, try to get it behind his car. Where are my legs? Bring them all the way up. Keep them real tight. Feel your legs up against his legs. What are you doing with this hand? Watching that every time he tries to attack this arm, you are protecting yourself. You're not letting him get that arm. All right, next thing. Step away, drive your hip up. See how he falls? When that happens, hand goes underneath. That's the first hand. Once I feel I've got this hand clear, now I've got two, and I move out. And I take whatever he gives me. I'm gonna quickly just go through some of the common errors. Yeah, so first things first, right? The, probably like the biggest mistake that people make is they don't take that step away. If you just try to move your hip here, it's gonna be very difficult. When you step away though, that changes everything. All right, that's the first thing. Second thing is, once your hip is up, you gotta keep it up. So don't go step up and then go down. He's just gonna come back again, all right? So you take the step, you drive up, and you hold it, and you don't come down until your hand is here. Once your hand is here, no problem. Then you can drop your hip. Okay, so you have to stay up, mid -air. That's why a good drill here is to practice to come up, and then bring your hand through so that you get used to staying up in this position, then come back and then go down. Come up, hand through, come back. That's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm coming up, my hand goes under, don't need to come back down. Once my hand is through, then I can go down and I turn the corner. Got it? Okay.